Hi, I'm Becky Kahn with Corporate Communications for Donaldson Company. Today I get to talk with Hugh Visay, National Sales Director for our Dust Collection Group, and we get to learn a little bit about the business. Welcome, Hugh. Can you tell me a little bit about your customer base with Torit? Well, Torit business within Donaldson Company is unique. We have a very large, diverse customer base spanning many different types of manufacturers. We go from tire manufacturers to food manufacturing to pharmaceutical companies to lawn equipment manufacturers. Not only do we span all that type of manufacturing base, but we also have a huge customer base. Currently, we have over 55,000 customer locations that the Torrit business unit deals with in North America. And what kind of markets are you in? Well, the markets span from metals and mining to weld fume, to thermal spray, food manufacturing, and it goes on to abrasive blasting, cement and minerals, foundry, glass, and the grain industry. Today we're going to focus on the grain industry, a small segment of what Torrit does. Can you give me a few examples of typical applications? Well, as grain moves from the field to some eventual manufacturing site, it's handled many different times through different processing facilities. As you might imagine, when grain comes out of the field, it's dusty, it's full of chaff, it has a lot of material on it that's really not a part of the grain that's used in food manufacturing or feed manufacturing. So as that grain moves around, it's very dusty. And so as it goes through the facilities, that dust needs to be controlled at every point that the grain is moved. Where does the grain actually move from? Well, the grain goes from the field onto a truck, and the truck will go to a grain processing facility, or the grain will go to a train, and then the train will go to a grain processing facility. And so as the grain t takes that initial dump out of the truck or the train, a huge plume of dust occurs. This little jar here is a representation of typical grain dust. And I don't know if you can see it, but it doesn't look like grain at all. But it's very, very dusty, and this is what we handle. Okay. And how many Torrit units would be dealing with that? Well, it varies by facility size, but essentially any time the grain moves from point A to point B, there has to be some form of dust control on the unit. Okay. And what's the traditional solution look like? Well, the grain industry has been deploying an age-old baghouse type technology for the last 40 or 50 years. Donaldson Torr participates in manufacturing and delivering those units, and over the years we've perfected the design of our units, but they've really gotten to the end of their life cycle in terms of being able to make them more beneficial to the customer. So the older units are very large, they consume a lot of steel, have a tremendous amount of filters in them, they're expensive to ship, they're expensive to erect, and they're attached to large, long ductwork systems that attach to all these different processes in the grain facility. So that also requires a tremendous amount of horsepower for the fan to suck air from the manufacturing facility through all that ductwork, through our dust filter, and put clean air to atmosphere. So you mentioned the old technology. How is the new technology different? Well, much like the rest of Donaldson Company, we're deploying power core technology which is a new fluted design for our filter media which allows us to dramatically downsize the size of our filtering boxes. For instance, in the grain industry, the antiquated technology, this filter bag here is eight feet long. So if you can imagine a bunch of these in one of those large filter housings. Instead, we deploy our power core technology, which this is a great example of here. This one small power core filter pack replaces eight of those eight foot long filter bags. So as the units get larger in size, you can imagine it's much easier to handle something like this and less expensive than to handle eight of these. Yeah, the change outs look like they might be a little easier. Correct. So I've seen some of the blue collectors on conveyor systems. How does that application work? Again, uh, traditionally the solution has been the older style units that have been in play for decades now, but we've also been able to deploy power core on those solutions as well. So we go from the large filter houses consuming all of that energy that are on basically 24-7 at these facilities to the power core solution. And the power core solution allows us to put a single filter device on one point 
of grain movement that needs to be controlled. So as that grain producer or grain processor then runs line number one, they can only fil they can just filter line number one and not filters line two, three, four, and five. By d giving them that option then, they are able to isolate their filtration and consume far less energy by only turning on the filter for the production line that's running for that day. So some nice cost savings. Traumatic cost savings. All right. Well, thanks, Hugh. I appreciate your time today.